Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Adventurer Manager by VA Studios. This is a silly and charming little game with graphics not being the number one selling point and a lot of people that need to be named, so I figured it would be perfect for Marcus Aurelius LP. It's... how do I even explain it? You are the king of a kingdom that has fallen into ruin, being conquered by an evil sorcerer, and you must recruit and manage groups of adventurers who go out and storm dungeons and get loot, basically. You directly control some of these adventurers yourself, and others work for you in the background. And they need to rest between things, so you must have a lot of them at any given time, and you switch between teams. But the game does a really good job of explaining itself, and it's a lot of fun. It's just kind of casual and entertaining, so I thought it'd be a fun addition to the channel. So let's get started. Happening right now in a video game a couple of feet or centimeters from your face. Adventurer Manager. Episode 1. A New Joke. What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. They just waved. <laughs> I love terrible jokes. Episode 2. A New Pope? It is a period of oppression, a secret heir to a kingdom, sleeping in a not-so-hidden castle, has just awoken from a very long nap. The parents of this heir were king and queen of the land of Adventuria. Betrayed by their court wizard, the illusionist Mirage, they were brutally murdered and their throne seized. The people of the kingdom of Adventuria have just won their first victory against the evil illusionist Mirage. During the battle, halfling spies managed to steal secret maps leading to Mirage's castle in the sky, a magically armored fortress with enough power to destroy an entire kingdom. Many halflings died to bring us this information. Pursued by Mirage and his sinister magic, the secret heir has the power to save and restore freedom to the many races of the kingdom. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. No, sorry. <laughs> Wrong franchise. Oh god, now I'm gonna get sued. Oh well, just another day in the life of Marcus Aurelius. Poppily. Ah, this is Jester. Your Grace, your Grace, you must awaken post haste and wash that dirty face. The realm needs your sweet embrace. Oh yeah. Put on some garments right this moment. Alright, I'm going to be male. I'm going to be human. Okay, that's good. Dark hair? No, dark hair? Do they have black? Oh, yes, perfect. No beard. Let's go with green eye. Oh, yeah. Okay. And this here is a very Byzantine crown with its ornateness and purpolity. So we're going to go with that. I like the robe already. Let's just make him a little bit more pale. There we go. Perfect. All right. Marcus Aurelius. Lovely. Create. Lovely. Great. Now that you're awake, we can bake our cake. Apologies, pathologies, I forgot you do not bake. Now we must make haste. The evil mirage needs your medieval barrage. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Forgive me, your grace. I'm in desperate need of your assistance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I know you have no formal army, but my dear husband went to the store to buy some groceries, and I believe I saw him walking towards the cave. The cave. The cave. My dear old lady, his grace doesn't have time for your husband's disgrace. Oh. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just love this woman's noise, man. Eh. Yeah. 
Please, Your Grace, I'm certain the town of Humania will be willing to assist you in your journey to defeat the evil Mirage if you help me find my husband. Hmm, maybe the old bag is right. If Humania were to join in our plight, we most certainly would put up quite the fight. Tonight. Tonight. I'll fight this war tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Your assistance will not be forgotten. Ha uh ha, -huh. uh -huh, Your Grace, I have humbly served thee through thy childhood. Let me bear this burden and serve thee in this matter. Send me to the cave to rescue this old man. Totally. Don't lag. Click Humania to accept the hag's adventure. Oh. Ah, Humania. Home of the humans. Oh, that makes sense. And cumin. One of the best spices ever. The first thing we must do is accept our adventure. Click the old lady to see her list of available adventures. I don't know if I want to click the old lady. Philosophy. These are the adventures that are offered by the old lady. Each completed adventure gives you and your adventurers XP, which allows you to take higher level adventures. So make haste. There is no time to waste. Click the adventure Rescue Bill. Venture into the cave and rescue the old lady's husband. Totally. Make haste to the cave. Totally. You should now see cross swords above the cave where the adventure is located. Let's get motivated. Click the cave. Rescue Bill. Totally. Your first adventure. This will be quite the venture. Grow some thick skin. Click begin. Totally. Wipe off that perspiration. This is the important adventure preparation scene. Here you organize your adventurers by clicking an empty silhouette and selecting the ones you want to utilize. You should place your tough adventurers in the front and at the back the ones that are not up to snuff. I also heard there may be some unique bonuses based on their arrangement. So in the future, try many replacements. An adventuring party is normally four adventurers, but right now all you have is Jeff the Chef, so place him in an appropriate space. Okay. Jeff. Philosophy. When you're ready, keep steady and click Go. Philosophy. This is the dungeon map, and figuring it out is a snap. The squares are rooms, and the adventurer icon represents your current location. Certain events and encounters are also displayed as icons, such as the entrance room that you are standing in. Rooms may have a connecting hallway node to indicate the different directions you may travel. Try not to unravel. The sound, sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's soft. It's all over the place. Possible directions are indicated by the compass, which is the primary way you navigate your adventures through the dungeon. It's very simple. You know, you move around in the cardinal directions. Right now, you may only travel east, so click east and you will see Jeff start running. How stunning. Egads, a rat. Scat, you dirty rat. Looks like he's not going to run, so we'll have to fight. This is your basic attack. Click it now to prepare your attack. Okay. Boom. Good job. Now we have to figure out a way out of this dank place. Oh, it was drawing a blank, but I know. Let's use the portal. Okay, so the portal you can use at any point to leave the dungeon if you need to get out. We need to return to the old lady to complete her dentures. I mean adventure. Click on Humania. You killed my pet dog. Uh -huh. My apologies, kind sir. Your wife sent me to rescue you from this foul cave, and I slew a rat, not a dog. Foul cave? I was at the market. Uh -huh. But sir, you were in the foul cave. Bah, kids these days. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, your grace, for rescuing my dear old husband. The town of Humania has agreed to open its gates for you in return. <laughs> your grace, the town of Humania has a new adventure. All right. A giant problem. Investigate the cave for signs of the loaf eater. Wow, Pizzao, a story adventure. 
These adventures are required in order for you to progress. But, don't stress, I've heard the rewards are fit for lords. <laughs> Fabulous! It's your grace. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is such a rush. I haven't felt like this since Gary threw me that party at the White Swallow Tavern. That was such a night. <laughs> oh, if only you could have seen what Ron was wearing that night. Oh my, it would have made your sword come right out of its scabbard. <laughs> Oh dear, sorry to ramble on and on, Your Grace. I know you must be so very busy. Why are there two of you? I have a huge problem. Ha <laughs> ha, now I know what you're thinking, you devil. But you? Nor you. But it's not that. It's my delicious cupcakes, Your Grace. I think something foul and horrible and huge is eating all of them. I enter my bakery every morning and find giant piles of poop and all my cupcakes gone. Please, if you could find the time to look into this big problem... I'd make you a super special, super royal cupcake. I'm pretty sure I saw some gross footprints leading to the cave, so you should probably check there. Yeah, okay. We're going to the cave. Probably. But first, we must hire adventurers to assist us. Okay, so there are towns. You can tell because they are yellow. And in these towns, you can hire stiff. Like Giantia is where you hire giants. Halflingia is where you hire halflings. Elfia is where you hire elves, and so on and so forth. Anything that is red is like an adventure location. And the university is where you can send your adventurers to learn things if you're interested in doing so. But the first thing I need is Dwarfia. Ho! Oh, welcome to the great city of the dwarves, the sturdiest race in all Adventuria. Please relax and enjoy a warm pint of ale. I'm pretty sure Adventuria is the name of the land in the Dark Eye franchise, so I hope these poor guys don't get sued. But I'm going to get a dwarf. And it's going to be a male dwarf. And a paladin is the only dwarf class you can get at this point. You build reputation with each city, and you're able to do more stuff with more reputation. I'm going to get a dwarf paladin. Okay, sweet. And now, we are going to get a Dark Elf. Who are you? Why are you here in Dark Elfia? Ugh, you're the new ruler, eh? Great, well enjoy your stay or don't. We don't care. Dark Elves don't give a shit. Okay, where's the guy to hire? You? Hire me, oh there he is. Alright, we are going to get a male Dwarf Elf, or Dwarf Elf, <laughs> Dark Elf Cleric. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Alright, now we are going to... Half... No, not Halflingia. Nomia. Okay. And we are going to get... a female gnome wizard. Probably. Back into the cave we go. Alright, so, adventurers. So our cleric is Alec. Probably. I don't like that. So instead, we're going to go with Burnsaber. Now, you'll all recall that Burnsaber is a gentleman who created the mod Byzantine Pythium that I played on this channel not long ago. So we now have Burnsaber. And we'll give Burnsaber a... well, nothing just yet. Actually, we'll give him a better holy symbol. All right. Okay, Jeff is going to stay Jeff. And our Dwarf Paladin is going to be Dwarf Comic. In honor of Dwarf Comic, who is drawing pictures for me for my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play. And we'll give him a leather vest. Then we have our Gnome Wizard, supposedly a female Gnome Wizard, who is going to be Elena. Elena Starbreeze from our Dwarf Fortress campaign. And Jeff, we're going to change to Pie Mouse. Pie Mouse is the gentleman who created the Ladane, the penguin mod for Dominions 4 that I played on the channel. And we'll give him that. 
and hey, Burn Saber, we'll get it best. All right, so we have our team assembled. Let's go back to the cave. Gravity. Pay attention to the type of weapon. Yes, some weapons can only be used in the front. They're short weapons. Other weapons can only be used in the rear. Or they can be used anywhere. But I planned for that. I have played this a little bit on my own to kind of get how it works. Dwarf Comics taking the front along with Pie Mouse. And then we're going to have Burn Saber and Elena in the back. Alright, lovely. And we're going to go Heroic, because the first dungeon is kind of easy, and the Heroic increases the danger, but also increases gold and magic that you find. And I'll probably get everyone killed, but there you have it. So you have a primary objective, which is kill Fang, and then you have secondary objectives, kill the wolf and the bear, and you get items for doing so. Regardless of what direction you go, you're always going to the right, but that's okay. The charm in this game is not the graphical presentation. Alright, so Pie Mouse is a human warrior. He can taunt. I'm not going to use that yet, though. He can also attack and defend. He's going to attack. Burn Saber is our healer. But Elena's not that badly hurt, so we're just going to attack with him. And Dwarf Comic is a paladin, so he can heal. And other as the characters level up, they gain other traits and abilities. Like Elena, for example, has a fireball. Alright, so High Mouse is a bit hurt, so we'll heal him. And the healing gets better as you continue. Boom. Get him. And, of course, at the end of every battle, you get good loot. Which you can then distribute to your people. So, let's see here. We have a cloth robe and a leather. More constitution, more strength. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. High mouse. We have wisdom intelligence. He doesn't need that, though. But 5% five, 5 magic find is kind of cool, and it's a stronger piece of armor, so we're going to leave that. Burn Saber, however, will get this one. And Elena will get the Cloth Robe of Balance, which gives her Dexterity and Wisdom, which is useless, actually, for her, being as she is a mage. Mages focus on intelligence, but at least it will give her better armor to start out with. Elena was born among hamburgers in a peevish gazebo. Horrified of being a dust researcher, Elena decided to become an adventurer. Elena is lethargic, sad, and tactless, but is slothy. Elena enjoys pants and hillbillies, but does not like badgers. After adventuring, Elena hopes to someday settle down and become a Grand Master Handshaker. This is kind of like Door Fortress, isn't it? Is this where you can find out about your people? Dwarf Comic was born among corn dogs in a reclusive toilet. Uninterested from being a freelance sunglass cleaner, <laughs> Dwarf Comic decided to become an adventurer. Dwarf Comic is boring, talkative, and hysterical, but is vile. Dwarf Comic enjoys kittens and pancakes, but does not like kittens. <laughs> After adventuring, Dwarf Comic hopes to someday settle down and become a Mango Vice President. Pie Mouse was born among turnips in a sad meadow. Infuriated from being a freelance coconut drinker, Pie Mouse decided to become an adventurer. Pie Mouse is devoted, devoted, and sad, but is wary. Pie Mouse enjoys clouds and corn dogs, but does not like sharks. After adventuring, Pie Mouse hopes to someday settle down and become a canine exorcist. We need more of those canine exorcists. Burn Saber was born among roses in a wary flower. Depressed from being a professional clown, Burn Saber decided to become an adventurer. Burn Saber is emotional, fat, and hysterical, but is drunk. Burn Saber enjoys hamburgers and sharks, but does not like hot dogs. After adventuring, Burn Saber hopes to someday settle down and become a grass watcher. Excellent. I'm going to need about 16 to 20 adventurers at any given time, so if you would like to be named as an adventurer, by all means, 
put in the comments of this video what gender you would like to be and what name you would like, and I will be happy to arrange that for you. However, there's only going to be about 20, so if there's more than that, uh, these adventurers die quite frequently, because especially when you send them off on adventures that you are not directly controlling, they have a tendency to perish. You can resurrect them, but I think if I get a lot of interest in names, I will just do a dead is dead kind of deal, unless they have some kind of special ability that I feel needs to be resurrected. So that's that. I hope you are enjoying this game, Adventurer Manager, by VA Studios, whose link I will put in the description. Once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.